Welcome to the video series titled Who is the Surface Laptop Studio made for? In this series, we will take a look into the different types of creative enthusiasts, professionals, and hobbyists that would benefit from this here powerful and versatile Surface device. So let's ask that all important question. Who is the Surface Laptop Studio made for? It was made for developers. Okay, so I'm going to come right out and say it, I'm not a developer, but there are a whole bunch of different developers out there. Web developers, software developers, game developers, front end, back end, all of which have to deal with programming and writing code to create and develop architecture, design, and then to fix and test any problems. I've also learnt the basics for this video, so you'll see me coding the formidable hello world at some point, but before that, let's look at the five reasons why the Surface Laptop Studio was made for developers. Reason number one, hardware for comfort and usability. When coding and developing, you can be in the flow all day long. So you need something comfortable for typing, like the full-sized backlit keyboard here. And you need a battery life that will allow you to fully immerse yourself until bedtime. How about up to 19 hours? Work until lights out. You also need a decent amount of RAM for smooth performance and preferably SSD storage over a mechanical hard drive for speed and longevity. The device we're showcasing here has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 500 112 gigabytes of storage, but you can also get the Surface Laptop Studio with 32 gigs of random access memory and one terabyte and two terabyte of SSD storage. A woohoo! Number two, more hardware for power. Processor. Developing in any capacity usually means a lot of different programs are open. For example, GitHub and Microsoft Visual Studio, as well as Edge, so then we can bing any issues that we're having and hopefully find a solution or at least get an idea of what might be going on. All of this cries out for powerful processing, multitasking power. The 11th gen Intel Core processors do just that. They are made for multitasking. And with the i5 and i7 H series high performance processors, in the Surface Laptop Studio, you don't need to worry about being interrupted. Go away, I'm, I'm filming, God. Number three, even more hardware for performance. The graphical processing unit. So let's first talk about the graphical capability of the 11th gen mobile processors. The i5 and the i7 H series processors have a graphical solution built right into the processor. You don't need to worry about bottlenecking or congestion. The Intel Iris Xe graphics are the latest integrated graphics solution from Intel, accelerating your creative workflows so that you can develop a gorgeous new mobile app with lots of videos and photos to make it look beautiful. You'll be getting crisp and detailed visuals thanks to this integrated solution. Now, with the i7 model of the Surface Laptop Studio, there is also a dedicated graphical processing unit. It's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti, which offers 2560 CUDA cores, 20 ray tracing, and 80 tensor cores. Okay, so CUDA cores or Compute Unified Device Architecture from NVIDIA are multi-core processors that are optimized to work with programming languages such as C or C++ and others that I haven't learned yet, which is a great advantage point for coding as the Surface Laptop Studio can perform multiple high-speed computations using the GPU and the CPU. Everything I've just said there means that you can tackle complex cycles anywhere. And it's good at coding. Neat. Number four, screen size and aspect ratio. Ooh. So, the screen size of the Surface Laptop Studio is 14.4 inches. It's bigger than your regular 13 or 13.5 inch laptop screen, and it's still portable. And hey, it's a Surface device, so that means two things. One, pixel sense, flow, touchscreen display, and up to 120 hertz refresh rate for when you're scrolling up and down your code editor or website or application, so you can take it all in real smoothly. Huh. And two, the aspect ratio of three by two. Huzzah, look at all of that screen real estate. Mm. Cause if you can see more, you can do more. But what if you wanted to see even more delicious code? Number five, external monitor and Thunderbolt 4 ports. 
Well, if one screen isn't enough, you could just grab yourself an external monitor and expand your screen size. We have two handy ports that can help with that. The Thunderbolt 4 port here. Oh. This handy port is your single docking, charging and backwards compatible port for all of your port needs. And with this, you can add a one 8K monitor or two 4K monitors up to 160 hertz, depending on just how much you want to spread out your workload. I feel like you're one of those hackers on one of those TV shows, or at least pretend with your super computer setup. Okay, so let me write down those reasons for why the Surface Laptop Studio is great for devs, developers, the cool way of saying developers. Reason number one, comfort and usability. Reason number two, CPU. Reason number three, GPU. Reason number four, screen size and aspect ratio. Reason number five, Thunderbolt ports for docking. Huh. I've learned what bottlenecking is from making this video, which is when one component of a PC holds back potential power, and I've learned how to do some coding. Hmm. I hope you have learned something too. So, with a final question, who is the Surface Laptop Studio made for? It was made for you. I've got a really itchy eye. Bye-bye. Yeah.